Okay, so today the scripture we have, uh, we'll talk about Jesus Christ said he is the bread of life. Jesus, the bread of bread of life. John chapter, John chapter 6, verse 25 to 40. Before that, Jesus said that before, before that, Jesus uh, fed a 500 people. Yesu Masih ne isse pehle jab Yesu ne kaha ke zindagi ki roti mein hu, usne 5000 ko khana khilaya tha. Hum jaante hain ki Yesu Masih ne sabko khana khilaya. To phir uske baad unhone 12 tokre uthaye. To Khudaun ki jo matlab Khudaun jo apne heavenly sign dikhaye ke apni witness dene ke liye ke that i am that who was supposed to become that i am he that mean i am the one you are looking for and you been you have been waiting main wohi hu jiske tum sab intezar mein ho ke khudaun ne ye sign unko dikhaya tha ke unko pata chale ke apni gawahi dene ke liye ke khudaun ki taraf se ke ye dekho miracle karne ke baad ke khudaun main wohi hu jiska tum log intezar kar rahe the लेकिन खुदा उन ये भी देख रहा था कि ये इन सब की आंखें कितनी खुली हैं ये ईमान में कितने मजबूत हैं ये सब मुझे पहचानते भी हैं कि नहीं है फिर भी खुदा उन यीशु मसीह उनको अपने बातों से और अपने कलाम से उनको बताता है लेकिन उनमें से कुछ जो है उनको उनकी आंखें खुलती हैं रोहानी और वो खुदा उनको पहचानते हैं और कुछ जो है नहीं पहचानते जो उसको बिलीव करते हैं तो मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल इसमें ये है कि द ब्रेड ऑफ लाइफ के दिन you know jesus was looking and looking the belief ke unka iman ko test kar raha tha iman dekh raha tha lekin khuda unke zameen par aane ka maqsad bhi yahi tha ke wo apne aap ko zahir kare apne apne kamon ke zariye apni baaton ke zariye lekin kuch log usko maine kaha kuch log jante the kuch log nahi some people they recognized him that he is the lord and he is the one who was anointed supposed to come onto the earth like god has promised uh, he is the savior and he's the king he's the messiah some knew that he's the messiah some still was like a blind in the faith so jesus said <clears throat> when they found him on the other side of the lake they asked him rabbi when did you uh, get here get here okay those people who had uh who was fed by jesus christ for five thousand people they were looking for him and they gathered here and they said when did you get here कि तुम आए रवि तुम यहाँ कब आए तो जीसस आंसर वेरी ट्रूली आई टेल यू यू आर लुकिंग फॉर मी नॉट बिकॉज़ यू सा द साइंस आई परफॉर्म बट बिकॉज़ यू आर द लोफ एंड बिकॉज़ यू एट द लोफ एंड हैड योर फिल डू नॉट वर्क फॉर फूड दैट स्पॉइल्स but for food that endures to eternal life uh we can just get this let let's speak about this ke yesu masi kehta hai ki tum log isliye nahi mujhe dhoond rahe the ke tum tumne mere sign dekhe taaki tum jo aasman se utra hai us par imaan lekar aa sako balki tum isliye aaye ho ki tumhe maine khana khilaya to tum khana khane ki fikr mein aaye ho कि हम मैं फिर साइन परफॉर्म करूं ताकि तुम खाना खाओ कि जीसस सेड दैट यू नो यू नॉट लुकिंग फॉर मी दैट आई हु एम आई दैट हु केम फ्रॉम हेवन एंड आई एम द हेवनली बीइंग दैट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर मी बट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर द अर्थली ब्रेड बिकॉज़ यू 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 आर हियर टू फुलफिल योर हंगर योर स्टमक हंगर एंड जीसस सेड यू नो डू नॉट लुक फॉर द ब्रेड that fulfill your need temporarily ke tum us roti ke piche mat bhago jo ke tumhe thodi der ke liye sukoon deti hai tum us roti ke piche bhago jo tumhe aasman se milti hai to tum uski talash mein raho jo tumhe zindagi deti hai kyunki ye zaruri nahi hai ke jab tum eternal life ko paane ke liye jab ke tum aasman ki roti ko paane ke liye koshish karoge to phir ye jo duniyavi roti hai wo tumhe milti jayegi Okay, then you know, search for the heavenly bread. Not nah, do not search for the earthly bread because the earthly bread only uh, temporarily fulfill your need and give you nourishment. After that, you are still hungry. But rather than you will look for the bread which is come from heaven, and which will give you eternal life. Because once you have that heavenly bread, 
then you will not be hunger anymore. Because Father's Spirit, which is the Spirit of God, He will keep you filled. And you will not feel hungry. You will not feel thirsty from the heavenly bread. So rather running after the bread, which is, you know, only for temporarily and spoil you for temporarily. And it can also spoil you because you are looking for the one thing which is not necessary for you to live. But you are looking for you rather than looking for the one which is the necessary for you. So then Jesus said, uh, for food that spoils, the food which is spoiled, because food जब हम उसको नहीं खाते तो वो पड़ा होता है तो वो खराब हो जाता है लेकिन जो आसमान से रोटी आती है वो कभी खराब नहीं होती तो यीशु मसीह उससे उनसे फिर कहता है कि बट फॉर फूड दैट इंडोर्स टू इटर्नल लाइफ तुम उसकी तलाश में करो व्हिच द सन ऑफ मैन विल गिव यू व्हिच द सन ऑफ मैन विल गिव यू व्हिच इज द कैपिटल व्हिच इज द डिवाइन बीइंग दैट आई एम द सन ऑफ मैन आई एम द डिवाइन बीइंग कि मैं ही होली हूं और मैं आसमान से उतरा हूं बीइंग अ सन ऑफ मैन सो सन ऑफ मैन द कैपिटल लेटर सन एंड ऑफ एंड मैन दैट मीन द सन ऑफ मैन द सन ऑफ गॉड सो ही इज सेइंग द सन ऑफ मैन विल गिव यू कि मैं तुम लोगों को वो रोटी दूंगा that I am, I am qualified. I am the one who sent for to give you the eternal life. And I'll give you that bread. That I came down from heaven. I am not from the earth. The qualifications of a padahu because I am a holy being, which means he is a holy being, he is not earthly being, he's a heavenly being, he's not holy. So he said, Son of man will give you what the bread of life. For for on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval approval. That God has already approved for me, which God has proved for me from beginning in the Garden Eden that He will come and recover you from all, recover you. He will come, that who is the Son of Man, who is the Son of Man, the Son of God, who is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So the Son of God, which is in a capital letter, that means He's divine being, who is. Who came from heaven? He didn't come from earth. Earth is when we say earth. Many times I have explained when we say earth, the earth is the contrary of heaven, which is the where the Satan's rules. That's what the earth means. The deep meaning of the earth means that the, uh, the principality of the Satan, the house of the Satan. The God wants to create, God wants to set his kingdom onto the earth and remove the Satan. He's a move. He, he throw him from the heaven. He's going to remove from the Satan from earth too. Then the earth will have a kingdom of God. Through his son, he, he is trying to build his kingdom. And he, we, God planned to throw, turn earth into the heaven. So the earth, not from here, which is the, you know, the need of flesh. So he said, I am heavenly being came from heaven. So he said, for on him, God, the father, the placed his seal of approval. Because father in the heaven, he put his seal of approval onto me. One came to give you eternal life, that I am the one who give you eternal life. I am qualified. 
आई एम द वन हु सपोज टू कम मैं वही हूं जिसको आना था और जिसके बारे में लिखा था कि जो तुम्हें हमेशा की जिंदगी देगा तो वो कहता है कि देन दे एस्क हिम व्हाट मस्ट वी डू टू डू द वर्क गॉड वर्क्स गॉड रिक्वायर्ड स्टिल आफ्टर ईटिंग द ब्रेड एंड एवरीथिंग यू नो दे स्टिल नॉट इन द दे स्टिल इन द लाइक अ यू नो इन द इन द विल्डरनेस देयर माइंड देयर ब्रेन इज विल्डरनेस they still not believe on to him that you know they still are spiritually blinded they still asking him you know what must we do because you have been a taught a torah for four thousand uh, before christ how many how many centuries but you still are looking for one you still are asking you know what must we do what is the god work we do Isn't that the Torah taught you? कि कित ला जो मोजस के जरिए दिया गया था यीशु के आने के साथ से पहले कितनी सदियां दो सदियां twelve hundred years twelve hundred years or I don't know the time but it was given quite a bit like a more than a thousand years and they knew the law of God but yet they still are blinded in the spirit and they still are in the wilderness in their mind. they're still asking what we must do that mean you know who was supposed to teach them they did not teach them well they still are wandering in the wonderland in the lala land so then he say then they ask him again ke jab unhone phir usko dobara kiya ke hum kya kare ke jo khuda unke kaam required karte hain humse तो मेरा कहने का मतलब है कि यीशु मसीह के आने से पहले मोजिस था और यीशु मसीह की गवाही मोजिस ने दी थी तो कितने हजार साल पहले उसके बाद यीशु मसीह आए तो जब खुदावन ने उनको माउंट सैनाई पे लाश दिए थे तो क्या उन लाश में से उनको ये नहीं बताया था कि ये खुदावन के काम करोगे तो तुम सेव रहोगे इसका मतलब है कि इतने हजार साल बाद भी वो अभी तक ही लाश थे अभी तक ही वो फूले बिछड़े थे अभी तक भी उनके दिमाग जो थे ना वो प्रपेयर नहीं थे फिर भी वो ढूंढ रहे थे सच्चाई को ढूंढ रहे थे उनको सच्चाई जो उसने एक्सप्लेन की थी वो उन, उससे वाकफ तो थे उनको पता तो था लेकिन उनको ये नहीं पता था कि जो उनके साथ बातें कर रहा है वो कौन है कि ये अंदाजा लगा सकते हैं कि उनकी जहनी कैफियत कैसी होगी क्योंकि खुदावन व्हेन दे डिड नॉट द पर्पस ऑफ फॉर देम यू नो द गिविंग देम अलाउ टू ब्रिंग द सल्वेशन फॉर अ होल नेशन ऑल ऑल मैन काइंड थ्रू द होली नेशन बट दे वर नॉट डूइंग इट देयर जॉब दैट्स व्हाई गॉड वाज सेंडिंग देम अमंग द नेशंस अंडर द स्लेवरी बिकॉज़ गॉड गॉड वांट देम टू if god bless this nation god want them other people to be blessed from them that's why that was the reason god was sending them so when they were not doing the god will god will send them for oppressions so this is how we are too ke is tarah hum bhi hai ke jab khuda mun ne hame apne apna kalam de diya apna beta de diya to hum uski guwahi nahi dete hum uska kaam nahi karte that mean we are not doing his job what is our responsibility to be his witness and tell the others and bring them to the light shine the light and live in a live a christ centered life ke hamara kya hai ke hum christ centered life live kare to whatever christ is taught us you know we have to wear him usko hamari zindagi ka markaz hona chahiye hamari baatein hamari baaton se yesu masi nazar aana chahiye hamare kaamon se yesu masi aana chahiye nazar aana chahiye hamare khayalon mein yesu masi nazar aana chahiye taaki phir jab phir ja ke hum khuda mein ka noor bante hain aur khuda uske naam ki guwahi dete hain calling christian yourself it's it's not a big thing what is the big thing you know the etern- to gain eternal life we must do what we are called to do ke jo hame jis cheez ke liye hame bulaya gaya hame wo karna bahut zaruri hai ke hum uske guwa ban ke zameen par rahe aur uska image hai hum 
to a Christ-centered life we have to live. Then put our faith into him. Now, why is so necessary our faith to be on the Christ? Because we are saved by him. If we don't put our faith into him and if we don't live a christ center life and we don't confess, we are still sinner and God will not see us anymore. God is willing to see us and come in the, let us come into his presence through his son's Lord Jesus Christ because through his blood, you know, he does not see as a sinner. He see us, you know, we are cleansed by the, we we have been atoned through his sons and he's the he, through him you know God is willing to give us his presence and let us come into his holy presence and that is only through his son Lord Jesus Christ which was promised that I will send and that means that God will live with you all the time so then you know if God lives with us all the times with his spirit that is through his son, Lord Jesus Christ, being with Jesus Christ, being his son. The God who is Father, Son, and three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, you know, who is in the heaven. He can be on earth through us, through his son, Lord Jesus Christ. And he dwell among us, you know. I'm going too far, too deep. So then they ask him, what must we do to do then I read that again, you know. Then Jesus answered, The work of God is this, is to believe into one he has son. He put your faith into me and listens to me. You just only believe unto me. This is what the job description God has given unto you. That you believe unto him who has been sent for you. I am here for you. Just put your faith and trust into me. That's what Jesus is saying. Is this, the, is this like a very heavy, heavy load job that we have to God require from us? Does he ask us to pull a, like a, a, you know, the truck or anything or the heavy labor work was a very strenuous work? No, he just want us to believe onto his son. That's what he was. He said, you just believe onto me. This is the work of God you will do. In the Christianity in the eternal life is what required for us to just to believe onto his son who was sent for us. And the more in the depth, you know, we were created onto his image and into his likeness. <clears throat> if we want an eternal life, we have to go back into the same image, <clears throat> which is the Jesus Christ in the image of Jesus Christ. Like I said earlier, we have to live the same Jesus Christ, Jesus, uh, you know, Jesus centered life. Can we look into Jesus Christ and just follow him, copy him, and put your faith onto him and listen to him? Follow on his footstep. Then you will receive the eternal life. So Jesus Christ. The Son of Man was sent for us, who is the way. And by believing into him, and by going on to that pathway, which will lead us to the Father, that is the Jesus Christ. And we should put our faith into him. That's what he's saying. It like, and you know, the work of the God is this to believe in the one. He has sent. So they ask him, what sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors, the manna, they still going back to the wilderness. And he, they say, you know, you're not showing us any sign from heaven. 
And what must sign you give it to us so we should believe it to you? कि कौन से तू साइन हमें देना चाहता है कि जिस पर हम तुझ पे भरोसा करें कि तू खुदा उनकी तरफ से आया है तो क्या जो पहले वो यीशु मसीह ने साइन दिखाया क्या उनसे तुम्हें नहीं पता चला कि मैं कौन हूं तुम्हारे सामने मुर्दे जलाए तुम्हारे सामने हील किए लोगों को हील कर रहा हूं तुम्हारे सामने जितने हैवली काम है मैं कर रहा हूं वो कोई नहीं कर सकता जो जब तक कि वो हैवन से ना उतरा हो तो तुम मुझ पे बिलीव करो तो वो कहते हैं कि हम तुझ पे और किस तरह बिलीव करें कि तू हमें और कौन सा बड़ा साइन देना चाहता है क्योंकि मूसा ने तो पानी को अलादा किया था उसने चालीस साल मन खिलाया था हमें तो कह रहे कि तू भी ऐसा बड़ा साइन कर तो वो उसको कहते हैं कि आवर इंसेस्टर एट द माना इन दिल्डरनेस एज इट इज रिटन ही गेव दम ब्रेड फ्रॉम हैवन टू to eat get then he threw the bread god fed them manna in the wilderness for 40 years because they these people are still so much in the darkness they still are looking for something visual sign which is fulfill their uh, bodily desire ki unki jo pyaas hai pani chahiye peene ke liye pyaas lagi hai ki wo jo cheeze hain jo material cheeze hain jo zameeni cheeze hain unki talash mein hai ki jo उनको पानी चाहिए पीने के लिए उनको उनको सिर्फ जमीनी पानी चाहिए उनको सिर्फ जमीनी रोटी चाहिए उनको सिर्फ रूखानी जिसमानी और जो भी जिसमानी नीड के पीछे थे कि दे आर आफ्टर द देर बॉडली नीड द डिजायर विच इज द बॉडली ब्रेड विच इज द ब्रेड कम फ्रॉम द अर्थ विच इज द वाटर कम फ्रॉम द अर्थ बट दे वर नॉट लुकिंग और सीकिंग फॉर द वाटर वो कम्स फ्रॉम हैवर and who comes from uh come from bread come from our heaven then jesus said you know what are you kidding jesus is the, the, you know what after jesus would, would be hearing their question you know what would be jesus saying he was must be laughing to are you kidding me you have not seen me doing any things and you still not not believing on to me he said you should put your belief on to him then jesus said to them very truly i tell you it is not moses who has given you the bread because they were seeing the moses did that they were not seeing the god did it they said moses performed this sign but jesus is trying to put his foot in and he's trying to say okay very truly sach ye hai haqeeqat ye hai ki jo musa ne tumko sare sign dikhaye the वो मूसा ने नहीं किए थे वो जो हेवन पे खुदा ने उसने किए थे क्योंकि वो उसके साथ था उसने अपने जलाल को जाहिर किया और खुदा का शुक्र है कि मूसा की लाश जो है ना खुदा के फरिश्तों ने ऊपर रख ली थी किसी को पता नहीं चला अगर मूसा की लाश भी नीचे होती ना तो इधर भी एक यूशलो में भी एक मक्का बना होना था कि वो खुदावन को जो खुदावन ऊपर से करता है आसमान से उस पर बिलीव करने के बजाय वो मूसा पे बिलीव करते थे कि मूसा ने ये किया उसने कहा कि मोजिस डिड नॉट डू इट इट इज द वन हु इज इन हैवन ही डिड इट फॉर यू बिकॉज दोज ब्रेड केम फ्रॉम हैवन फ्रॉम यू गॉड गिव इट यू यू सीक टू द गॉड हु इज इन हैवन एंड देन यू विल गेट द ब्रेड फ्रॉम हैवन एंड यू विल सी द साइन हैवन ही साइन but it is my father who gives you the true bread from the heaven ke mere baap ne upar se aasman se di thi jisne mujhe bheja hai tumhare paas for bread of the god is the bread that the comes down from heaven and gives life to the world the bread of life which is coming from heaven and people eat that heavenly bread and they will live forever and that is i and jo bread aasman se utri hai wo main hu 
anybody who eats me, anybody who drinks me, will not be thirsty and hungry. I am the bread who sent from heaven. You should believe unto me. You need me. You don't need the other bread to live. How important is for us to know, eat this heavenly bread for the believer. The Jesus Christ is the bread of life who came from heaven. That the heavenly bread. That's why he said, you know, that the people say, sir, sir, they said, always give us this bread. They said, give us this bread, which come from heaven. That means they were still asking for mana. Roti jo tawe pe pakti hai, usko maang rahe the wo. Lekin jo asman se roti utarti hai, usko nahi wo maang rahe the. Jo roti ham aata ghoon ke banate, uski talash mein the. Ki wo bhooke pe aase. Jesus said, then Jesus declared that I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believe in me will never be thirsty. Jesus Christ said, I am the bread. Now Jesus is declaring himself, you know, I am not just Moses. I am not Yeshaya. I am not Hosea or Zechariah or Daniel. I am above them all. They've spoken about me. They've spoken about me. And I am that bread that you needed. You don't need other bread. So my brothers and sisters, we don't need another bread. Why we are running after the other bread? Why we are running after these things? Why cannot we run after the Jesus Christ? Why can we not look for him? Why we ईमान रखना चाहिए तो हमारा ईमान जो मसीह यीशु पे हमें सेव करता है द फेथ इन क्राइस्ट विल सेव अस बट नॉट ऑन द अर्थली थिंग्स आफ्टर वी रन बिकॉज़ ही कंट्रोल्स एवरीथिंग एंड ही कैन बी ही कैन मेक अस अ किंग विद इन अ फ्यू यू नो हु नोस द गॉड इज द वन हु हु अपॉइंट द जजेस एंड द किंग्स ऑन टू द अर्थ if he gives you authority and give you make you a, a, authoritative onto the earth onto the people and if you don't obey of him you know he can take away your kingdom he can take away your authority onto the earth or your leadership so why cannot we looking for the bread of life and the life which gives um, abundant life which gives us eternal life but as i told you now i'm going to just read it but as i told you you have a seen and uh and still you do not believe like i said earlier you know they have seen many signs jesus performed it but they were still asking him a question they were still in a doubt i think it was a good it was a it was a, they were like in a doubt you know there were many many false prophets there they were still thinking that he is the true prophet or he is the one who is but then many who believed in to him they were saved but still people were not seeing it but this is what you know this is what this is what it required for us to stay awake in the spirit and have the oil in the lamp so we can recognize who is talking to us who knows we encounter any angel and we were, we are not in the spirit and we will not recognize him he's a heavenly being he's sent from heaven so this is what happening to those people because they were not born of the spirit that's why they did not recognize him all those the fathers gave me will come to me 
and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who has sent me. کہ میں زمین پر اس لیے نہیں آیا کہ میں اپنی مرضی چلاؤں میں اس لیے آیا ہوں کہ میں باپ کی مرضی کو پورا کروں کہ باپ کی مرضی کیا ہے کہ میں کھوئے ہوں کو ڈھونڈوں ان کو لے کر آؤں واپس لے کر آؤں اور باپ کی مرضی کیا ہے کہ جس مقصد کے لیے اس نے مجھے بھیجا ہے میں اس کو پورا کروں کہ میں گناہوں کے گناہوں کا خال لے کر آیا ہوں کہ تاکہ تم گناہ گار نہ ٹھہرو تاکہ تمہاری جانوں کا فیدیا دے ہوں And this is the will of him who sent me that I shall lose none of all those he, who has given it to me. The Kudamun ne mujhe kaha ki uski marzi ye hai ki mere paas jitne usne mujhko diye hai main unko kho na do. Jo us pe bharosa rakhenge wo Kudamun ne un Kudamun Kudamun baap aasmani masi ko deta hai. Hum sab jo ke us par iman rakhte hain bharosa rakhte hain ye baap ne usko diye hai. تو اس کی مرضی یہی ہے کہ خدا ان کی پوری انٹینشن ہے یسو مسیح کے وہ ہم کو کھو نہ دے تو اس لیے وہ کہتا ہے کہ دیٹ آئی کیم ہیئر فرام ہیون ٹو ڈو دا ول آف دا فادر بٹ دا دوز ہو ہی گیون اٹ ٹو می آئی مسٹ ڈو سم تھنگ بٹ ٹو ڈو دیٹ ول آف ہیم ٹو سینڈ ہیم اینڈ دس از دا ول آف ہیم ہو سینڈ می دیٹ آئی شیل لوز نن آف آل دوز ہو those he has given me but raise them up to at the last day isumasi ab he is trying to say the people god has given it to him he does not want us he does not want to lose he said i want to keep them under my possessions unto my wing so when i come back i will raise them up if they are alive or if they are dead So many are believers who are in the Christ, you know, promise of the Christ is that, you know, he does not want us to lose. He does not want to lose us. He wants us, he wants to keep us through his scripture, through his presence, through his spirit. So we always have stay in the spirit and stay in the presence of God. So he doesn't want to lose us. How much he cares about us. See, he came here to claim us, you know, because we are his. We came out of him. He came to claim his own. Ke Yesu Mursi, jo uska tha, jo usse belong karta tha, usko claim karne ke liye niche aya. Ke asman pe, jab hum te, the we are heavenly being. when adam and eve was in heaven you know they were heavenly being they were one of they were the image of god and they were glory being they were carrier the glory carrier of the god so after the fall these things they lost these things but now whatever was the remains left there jesus came to rescue that اور یہ ہمیں بتاتا ہے کہ خداون ہم ہم سے دور نہیں رہ سکتا کیونکہ ہم خداون کے ہی ہیں خداون نے ہمیں بنایا خداون سے نکلے ہیں کیونکہ خداون نے بنایا اس کی پرت ہے ہمارے اندر تو وہ ہی کیم ڈاؤن ٹو کلیم اس وی آر ہز پوزیشن وی آر ہز چلڈرن سو کیم ڈاؤن ٹو کلیم ہز پوزیشن وچ فادر ول گیو اٹ ٹو ہم ہی سیڈ دیٹ یو نو دے ول بی گاڈز انہیریٹن there will be many not so whoever believe into him they become the god possession they become the god's inheritance and they they have been rescued they have been recovered jesus came to recover us recovered his own ke jo usse belong karte hain wo uske hain aur wo unko lose nahi karna chahta So this is what the Jesus Christ said. I am the one who was supposed to come. You should you should be looking for it. And that is me. And you should put your faith into me. Then you will live. And don't go after the bread of earthly bread. Just look for the bread who comes from heaven. Who came from heaven. 
and that bread is me. And you all need me. All mankind who put their faith into him, they all need people who are wandering, people who are still in the darkness. They only need the light. The Jesus Christ is the light. They only need Jesus, who is the God himself. They don't need anybody else to show them the will of the Father and show them, you know, what must you do to seek a God face. God is willing to show us his face and he's willing If it was not his will, he will not send his son. It was his, I don't know how to say the word. But, you know, it was the utmost desire of the God that he wished that he can get us back and bring us back home. And that is the way he did it, through his son. He put his son there for us. And whoever comes through him, he will let them enter into his presence. And then we seek his faith. And then we seek him. Then he is there for us. Through his sons. Who is the bread of life. To give us eternal life. We must eat Jesus Christ. And follow him. My brothers and sisters. This is all. God bless you all.